Hello everybody, it's Koopy back for a quick discussion video. I'm gonna play some Splatoon while I'm doing this anyway. I have a video exporting. Um, anyway, I'm probably really stressing out my computer right now, but anyway, let's go right into it. So, basically, um, I'm gonna talk about the, uh, why this Switch still appeals to just the casual person. Um, I was watching a Switch Force video and they were talking about ARMS. And what I thought is like, the Wii was universal for everybody. Everybody could pick up a controller and get ready to go right into the gameplay. Um, Wii Sports and boxing, so they thought arms would be a pretty good idea, which it is a very good idea. But anyway, it's, that's going to be good. Um, arms is a great idea to keep the... Wii fans happy that like the Wii but didn't like the Wii all that well. Um, it's a very good idea to keep arms going like that. I don't know why my item is like that. Uh, my item. You might know in the future. So anyway, let's get right back into it. Um, okay, so basically, arms is a game that you can play with just your motion. Like the Wii remote is. I mean, you can use it as a just regular game controller if you want to, like a Wii U Pro controller, but you had to have an unchecked with it. But if you wanted to play it with motion, all you have to do is move it around. Same thing with Joy-Con. You can do that with both of them. It's an unchecked and your remote built in one, but they're almost exactly the same. It's a very good idea. And for Mario Kart 8, that's still, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, um, rather. That still keeps the person that likes the motion controls there too. So it's 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 a way to blend the casual gamer with the old audience that they got from the Wii. And I'm actually doing reasonably good right now, but no, I'm not anymore. Um. So basically, the casual gamer, uh, the person who actually buys a console to this game, not do any Wii sort of stuff. Uh, say a person bought the PlayStation 4. That person was is only going to get a just sitting down and doing that action. You would have to you'd have to buy a completely different uh, thing for it. You'd have to buy the I think I don't even know if they make them anymore. They had like a Sony move move it or something. I'm not real sure. Uh, it looked like a Wii remote but it had a big ball on the top of it and everything but it, was, it looked really weird, but anyway, th those were the closest thing you can get. And now, as today, as I looked at the news today, Sony has tried, I don't know if this is true, this is a rumor, but Sony might actually, might actually, uh, release something similar to the Switch, because they have, they have patented something to that nature that looks like a Switch, but it's not exactly like it. It looks like a PlayStation 4 controller on a Switch, and so it, it, it just looks like a cheap ripoff of a Switch. Um, so I don't even know why they're trying to copy. Basically, that's how, that's how they did it in the first place. And Nintendo owns the Switch. Hopefully, they would have enough sense to actually patent features like it, like the Joy-Con, removable controllers from the screen. They can that would help out a lot. Um, let me see if I can think of anything else. I've lost it just in time. Um, yeah, it, the Switch appeals to the casual gamer as well as the regular console gamer, not like a PlayStation 4 gamer. There are some people that have a PlayStation 4 I have heard of that are going to get a Switch just because of Nintendo content uh, and, uh, the motion gameplay. Xbox had the um, the uh, Connect, but they didn't have a remote. I think the Connect, if Nintendo would have released something similar to the Connect for the Wii or something, it would have totally messed up everything. But if they would have, it would have been pretty cool. Uh, no matter what, no matter what it is, but it'd have been really cool. Um, oh, but anyway. That's all for this episode. That's I'm just explaining that the Switch is appealing to both casual gamers as well 
as normal people that want to just do motion controls. It's, it's, it's a great, it's a great concept. That's, that's, I just figured that out. Um, it's keeping both of the audiences they like. So anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in February the 27th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for a special week-long stream of the Nintendo Switch Countdown. We'll be counting down to 12 a.m. on that Friday, March 3rd, when the Nintendo Switch releases. And then on March the 3rd at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, we will be doing a 24-hour stream until Saturday night at 6 p.m. I'm going to give us a little extra time because I'm probably going to have to take some breaks, some power naps. But anyway, I'll be playing once you switch into Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You can tune in for those on March the 3rd. But be sure to come in on February the 27th to get that extra little peek at that. Alrighty, we'll be counting down so the chat will be in and donations will be accepted. Patreon is not required. You can just do one-time donation, but Patreon helps us out a little bit better. It gives us a reliable flow. Thank you for 90 subscribers today. I've been gaining one daily this week. I don't know how that happened, but I'd like to thank everyone for giving me their subscription, and I hope to make you pleased in the future. I am really trying to focus on getting quality over quantity right now as you can probably tell I've been taking a little time off and then coming back with a very high quality video <laughs> not all the time uh, anyway there uh, remember this is Saturday keep in mind to, uh, on tonight we might have a stream tonight I'll uh, check up on my Facebook page and check up on my channel I might release a video to let you know if I am or not having one but it will be dual streamed if I do have one to YouTube and Twitch uh, during the week, if I do one during the week, it'll only be on Twitch, just because it's a lot easier for me. And the Switch stream, just not to, uh, forgot to mention, it will be dual stream too, so you don't have to worry about that. I might also do it Facebook through KoopuYu on our event page, I'm not real sure. But anyway, thank you for watching, and one more point I have to add, the Pro Controller is basically your PlayStation 4 controller for your Switch. The Switch, I mean, it's like three consoles in one. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but I just the, the idea is great. I've been wanting something like that for a very long time that I can take my Splatoon with me wherever I go and my actual HD with me wherever I go. Thank you guys for watching. You can also help meet the $300 goal to help me pay for my Switch on Patreon. I am getting one for the 24-hour stream, but you can also make pay for that and use that $300 that I paid for Twitch somewhere else. But thank you. Have a great day this should be early in the morning anyway saturday have a great weekend and we'll see you next time enjoy the switch